Yes, it is. Oh, how the time goes by quickly. Unfortunately. It feels like you just signed it. Yeah, I thought the time didn't go by quickly. I didn't know how to draw it. I didn't have to write for the real thing. Could have been today too, at least. Yeah, it could have for the last. The whole empty hall. Mm -hmm. If you go in, you just check in for the regional qualifier thing. We'll see how we go from there. Man. I don't know why, this one's fun. Yeah. Man, it's definitely an experience. It definitely made you that much better as a player. Oh yeah, most definitely. Like, you learned a lot this week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's so I mean, it, it's funny because we're going, we're going, we started off in a new format and now we're about to go into a new format. <laughs> I think I need to work better on my deck building strategies. There's one thing you can say about your play conservative, you don't have enough gates on the board. You don't play conservative, you don't have a hand, and if they wipe your board, you just, you're stuck. All of my matches, I went into game three, so I put up a fight, but man, it's just, if you, if you draw a bad hand, which happened a lot this weekend, you, you can't bounce back from it. 
in this current format, meaning Dimension Shifter, Forbidden Droplet, and Evenly Matched is a must for Sword Soul. But you need to beef up the deck. You can't you can't run all those nine cards and run a forty card deck. It, it would have to be a minimum forty five. Just just so you can have more options, have more of a hand. It's definitely tough out here. I would uh, I would take out the Heavenly Dragon Circles. I only used that combo once. Uh, Heavenly Dragon Circles not not helpful at all. Uh, the rivalry of the Warlords I saw was was also not helpful either. Really? Yeah. Unfortunately, there was always a way to out it. It's like people were expecting it, so. Those six cards are out. You can put the Dimension Shifters and the even matches in, instead of those. Uh, never saw a Harpy's Feather Duster, so don't main it. Um, yeah, man, it's it was tough. Like, so sword, hard going swords, second cards. Sword Soul is still viable. It's just... Would you say take a good build, good pilot? Not even a good pilot, because I'm a good pilot for it. You just need... Not to have you, you have a 50 50 chance of having a bad hand opening draw, no matter how you shuffle it. I, and if you're running, you know, evenly matched and forbidden droplets, there's a there's a high chance your opening hand is going to be spells and traps. Very high chance. And that's just, I would definitely, I didn't, I didn't do this, but I would main the uh, sword soul monster reborn for sure. Sacred summon. Sacred summon. What would you say was your MVP in the deck? Super Poly. 100%. Super Poly was just making people win. They kept asking them, Super Poly and Sword Soul. I've never seen that before. Yeah, well, now you do. That, that, it broke a lot of boards, and I think the Super Poly, is what, Super Poly honestly, is what saved me against Blackwing. Blackwing has a uh, indestructible card, but Super Poly doesn't care about that, so. Um, yeah, unkillable boss monster. Yes, Super Poly does not care. Uh, and then Ching Ying, he was MVP for, low, for that matchup. That guy was really mad. He dropped instantly after I beat him. Um, cool deck, it just, they did too much, too many openings. Uh, another one was a Link. What's the Link 6 deck? Oh, uh, uh, Attic Mister. Yeah. And the arrival Attic Mister. I Nibiru him and made him cry, so he, he scooped. But yeah. I Nibiru before he could get to the arrival. Hey, man. I had, I had to, man. That thing was... Yeah. I mean, if I either let him do that again to me and have an unbeatable 6 boss monster that's non-targetable... Oh, it, no, it's a mean highlight, highlight of my all my matchups was that Black Moon deck, I... Game 1, went into Mud Dragon. Love so, it. my Mud Dragon was helping me with... Uh, fun fact, Cheng Ying's water yes. attribute. Yes, he is. So, Mud Dragon, Cheng Ying, Cheng Ying, and then Blackwing's banished all their cards. So, Cheng Ying was a 5300 beat stick. Should have activated another part of his eyes. Oh, God. Really <laughs> yeah, so 5300 beat stick with Mud Dragon. He wasn't targeted by effects. The guy had no alpha. He had no way to destroy it, wipe it, nothing. And every time he banished, that card. Yeah. Crazy. And oh, that was my, game one. Oh, and that was game one. My fault for worm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So game two, same thing. I bring out Mud Dragon. <laughs> and he tried to uh, stop my long yuan, so I didn't bring out Cheng Ying. He activated a card effect to destroy it, but I quick, gave you your quick effect. Mud Dragon changed his attribute to fire. fire for the end of the turn, right? So that, that was his only out, so obviously he discarded the graveyard because he didn't have a, didn't act, uh, didn't, didn't have a target. Synchro Summon, Cheng Ying. He forgets that the attribute, he, he thought the attribute was still fire. Oh. On his turn, tries to, tries to, Mud Dragon. Mud Dragon, activate effect, change back to water. It changed. No, it's no, it's, it's till the end of the turn. Oh, is that way till the end of the turn? It's no. My dragon changed its attribute till the end of my turn. I went to Chang Ying. He didn't have a response to it. His turn. My dragon's back up as a water. Yeah. 
Yeah. Aiden. <coughs> yeah. That was a highlight of my my day. Like it was just perfect. Open open opening hand had super poly both times. I had targets both times. The guy was upset. How many times did someone drag off Cephalio? Oh, with two minutes. But and then, you know, it makes it a level one when you activate his effect. He tried to uh Xyz. I don't know. He tried to exceed or something, but it was a little, it was a little one to do it. He stuck. He managed to find an out. Uh, he you sound like you had some fun interactions. Uh, no, I mean, oh, even don't that. get, uh, don't get like, it. Not it, it you definitely, I definitely I had to not. think about it. Mud Dragon was the MVP. For sure, Mud Dragon. I'd love to see it. What about you? Me? What was my question? What was your highlight? My highlight? Oh, I think I clicked the button. Nah, it, do it doesn't do anything. Okay. Hmm. What was your highlight match? My highlight match? Your favorite match of the day. Don't say it was the uh, Eldritch. No, it was definitely not Eldritch. I was just tired playing that match. No, it was, uh, you know, I was going to say two elements, but then I got to think, which? <laughs> I mean, so, so many two I played two Unix Bright, one Marincess, one... Is this a go for either of you? Yeah. yeah. One Eldritch, and then the rest were some variation of tier. One of those tier variations... I played the balls. He, he set up a big board with like multiple negates. And I played through it all. It, I just feel so good because he outed my drive. And he outed. Um, he got a lot of cards. Like, he prevented my drive from happening. He prevented me from. Uh, yeah, he prevented me from searching with drives. He prevented drives from staying on the field. And then he. Uh, but see, Drives isn't what you want to stop. No, it's not. He didn't know that. Yeah, so he did that. There was another card that he stopped me. I forgot what it was. Drives is fine, because you can just go back into yeah. Drives with uh, Sunseed. Sun yeah, but uh, Sunseed, um, Primula, Princess, or um, yeah. Petal. But, it, no, so check it. You know, he did all that. You know, he had a, a pretty good board. And uh, so I'm like, okay, normal Sunseed. Shake my hand. <laughs> And then the, the look on his face, he was like, I did all that, and you still, I was like, yeah. And then I went to, you know, it was all driver's effect. He asked, is that not one for him? I was like, no, it is not one for him. We're here to make a man. So and I just did my whole play, got my board up, and then, in the game. All in all, uh, I'm glad we did this event. Uh, definitely ready for... Any, I think this prepared us. I think a couple more big events under our belt, and we'll be we'll be up there for sure. We just gotta stay consistent and keep on playing. We can't stop like we did before, not at all, not at all. But we also gotta be. We gotta understand what it, how it's actually going. But I think my build, like the main deck, kind of thing, wasn't too bad. But I had the inconsistency of playing track and board breaking, so. Make a commitment and then figure out how I want to side. And then also some of my siding push is not really the best thing because I would side going second cards or going first cards, going second. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, we, we, it was a little experience and we know what to do. Uh, I mean, uh, a lot of it was not the same, you know. You do a lot of mistakes. Now we're going to go spend some money. Yeah, for me to be as possible. Alright. How about the team? Are you at the airport? Yeah. Alright. Check it in later.